we have balanced some chemical equations before let's try to balance some more chemical equations so we are given an equation hno3 reacts with h2s to give no2 plus water plus sulfur let's write the different atoms that we have here we have hydrogen we have nitrogen oxygen we've already already written hydrogen and we have sulfur so these are the different atoms that we have let's write the different number of atoms on the reactant and the product side so on the reactant side we have 1 plus 2 3 atoms of hydrogen 1 atom of nitrogen 3 into 1 3 atoms of oxygen and 1 atom of sulfur on the product side we have two atoms of hydrogen we have one atom of nitrogen we have 2 plus 1 3 oxygen and one atom of sulfur so these are the different number of atoms that we have let's write our equation so now we see that our hydrogen is not balanced on the reactant side we have three atoms on the product side we have two atoms nitrogen is balanced oxygen is balanced and sulfur is balanced so only our hydrogen atoms are not balanced so what do we do if we use our tricks 1 and 2 they say that balance the species which is present alone in the end and if there is a difference of one atom for the species present alone but in this case hydrogen is not balanced and it is not present alone it's always in the combined form so we cannot use our tricks 1 and 2 here what do we do well to balance hydrogen we have to somehow make this number even that is we have to make this a multiple of 2 only then we can double this or multiply this by some number to make our hydrogen atoms equal so the lowest multiple of 2 is 4 so let's make the hydrogen atoms 4 if we multiply this number by 2 we'll get 2 into 2 4 plus 1 5 so the easiest way to make the number of hydrogen atoms 4 on the reactant side is to take two molecules of nitric acid so when we take this two we get 2 plus 2 four atoms of hydrogen we get 2 into 1 two atoms of nitrogen we get 3 to the six atoms of oxygen and one atom of sulfur we have not made any change on the product side so this remains the same now we have four atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side and two atoms of hydrogen on the product side so now we can easily balance our hydrogen atoms we simply multiply this by 2 so when we take two molecules of water now we have four atoms of hydrogen we have one atom of nitrogen we have 2 plus 2 four atoms of oxygen and one atom of sulfur no change on the reactant side so these atoms remain the same so now if we look at our equation hydrogen is balanced but now our nitrogen atoms are not balanced so to balance the nitrogen atoms we have to make this number 2 since we have two atoms on the reactant side we have only one atom on the product side so we take two molecules of nitrogen dioxide what will we get we'll get this remains the same that is four four atoms of hydrogen two atoms of nitrogen two plus four so this is four, two twos are four plus two atoms of oxygen which is six and sulfur remains one on the reactant side we have not made any change so this number remains the same so now if you look at our equation our hydrogen atoms are balanced our nitrogen atoms are balanced our oxygen atoms are balanced and sulfur atoms are balanced so this is our balanced chemical equation so whenever we see a problem that is we were not initially able to balance our hydrogen because on one side we had two atoms and on one side we had three atoms this is not very easy to balance so we always try to make the number of atoms even 
So when we made this four, we can easily balance the hydrogen atoms now. So we always try to even the number of atoms. Let's take another example. We have sulfur reacts with nitric acid to give sulfuric acid plus nitrogen dioxide, NO2, plus water. Let's write the different atoms that we have. We have sulfur, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Let's count the number of atoms now. On the reactant side, we have one sulfur atom, one hydrogen atom, one nitrogen, and three into one, three oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have one sulfur, then we have hydrogen, two plus two, four atoms of hydrogen, then we have one atom of nitrogen, and we have four plus two, six plus one, seven atoms of oxygen. So these are the different number of atoms on the reactant and the product side. Let's write our equation. Now we see that a sulfur is balanced, but hydrogen atoms are not balanced. So to balance the hydrogen atoms, this side we have one, on the product side we have four. So we have to make this four. So this means we have to take four molecules of HNO3. So when we take four molecules of HNO3, we get this remains the same, that is one sulfur atom. Now hydrogen atoms become four. Nitrogen becomes four. And oxygen becomes 12. There is no change on the product side. Now let's look at our equation. So sulfur atoms are balanced. Hydrogen balanced. Nitrogen atoms are not balanced. So now let's balance the nitrogen atoms. So on this side we have four atoms. On the product side we have one atom. So we have to take four molecules of nitrogen dioxide. So we get one sulfur atom. Then we have hydrogen. So we get two plus two, four atoms of hydrogen. We now have four atoms of nitrogen. And we have four to the eight plus four. 12 plus 1, 13 atoms of oxygen. We have not made any change on the reactant side. So now if you look at our equation, our sulfur atoms are balanced, hydrogen is balanced, nitrogen is balanced, but oxygen is not balanced. Again, we have the same problem. That is, we have 12 atoms on the reactant side and 13 atoms on the product side. So now we have to increase this number. Since here we have a greater number of oxygen atoms, so we have to increase this number. Let's try to increase it step by step. So now we have four molecules of HNO3. Let's make this five. If we take five molecules, we'll get one atom of sulfur. We have five hydrogen atoms, five nitrogen atoms, and 15 oxygen atoms. We have not made any change on the product side. So this remains the same. Now, we were trying to balance oxygen. That is why we increased this number. So let's balance oxygen. So we see that we have 4 to the 8 plus 4, 12 atoms of oxygen. We need 3 more atoms. So how can we balance it? We take three molecules of water. So now we have four to the eight plus four, 12 plus three. So we have 15 atoms of oxygen. We have one atom of sulfur. We have two plus six. We have eight atoms of hydrogen and we have four atoms of nitrogen. On the reactant side, we have not made any change. So this remains the same. So now, by doing this, we have balanced our oxygen atoms. But in the process, now our hydrogen and nitrogen are not balanced. So let's balance nitrogen. Over here we see five atoms. On this side we see four atoms. So this means we have to make this five. 
That means we have to take five molecules of nitrogen dioxide. So what will we get now? One sulfur atom. Three to the six plus two eight hydrogen atoms. Five nitrogen atoms. And five to the ten plus four fourteen plus three seventeen oxygen atoms. The number of atoms remain the same on the reactant side. So now if we look at our equation, sulfur is balanced, nitrogen is balanced. Hydrogen on the reactant side we have 5 atoms, product side 8. So let's make this 8. We have to take 8 molecules of HNO3. Let's write the number again. We have 1 sulfur, 8 hydrogen, 8 nitrogen and 24 oxygen atoms. No change on the product side. Now, sulfur balanced, hydrogen balanced. Nitrogen and oxygen are not balanced. Let's balance nitrogen first. Eight atoms on the reactant side, five atoms on the product side. So what do we do? We have to make this eight. To get eight atoms of nitrogen on the product side, so we get one sulfur atom, three to the six plus two, eight hydrogen atoms, 8 nitrogen atoms and 8 to the 16 plus 4 20 plus 3 23 oxygen atoms. We have not made any change here so this remains the same. What do you observe here? Sulfur, hydrogen and nitrogen balanced. Oxygen is not balanced. This is the same situation that we had here. We had sulfur, hydrogen, nitrogen balanced, but there was a difference of one atom on the reactant and product side for oxygen. Similarly, now after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, after 8 steps, we have the same situation. Our sulfur, hydrogen and nitrogen are balanced, but there is a difference of one atom on the reactant and product side. So we see that even after using 8 steps, we are not able to balance the equation. So oxygen is creating a problem. Let's try to use a trick here. Let's write the equation again. What are the different atoms present? Sulfur, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. We have one sulfur atom, one hydrogen, one nitrogen, three oxygen atoms. We have one sulfur atom, two plus two, four hydrogen atoms one nitrogen atom and four plus two six plus one seven seven oxygen atoms let's write our equation now you see that hydrogen is not balanced and we had tried to balance the hydrogen before but you see that we have three oxygen atoms here we have seven oxygen atoms here so we know since there are odd number of oxygen atoms they will create a problem so whenever you see something like this, that is some number, you know you cannot balance 3 and 7 at one time. So always try to make the number of atoms even. The easiest way to do that is to make the oxygen atoms even on the product side. So we see that by this it's already even. By this it is already even. So the easiest way is to take two molecules of water. When we take two molecules of water, this remains the same. Now we have 2 to the 4 plus 2, 6 hydrogen atoms. We have 1 nitrogen atom and we have 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8. 8 oxygen atoms. There is no change on the reactant side. So now we have made our oxygen atoms even. Now let's balance the equation. We have 1 atom of hydrogen on the reactant side. We have 6 atoms of hydrogen on the product side. So we take 6 molecules of HNO3. We have 1 atom of sulfur. We have 6 atoms of hydrogen. 6 atoms of nitrogen. And 6 threes are 18 atoms of oxygen. On the product side there is no change.
if we now look at our equation sulfur is balanced hydrogen is balanced nitrogen is not balanced six atoms on the reactant side one atom on the product side we make this six we have one sulfur atom we have four plus two six hydrogen atoms six nitrogen atoms and six two is a twelve plus four sixteen plus two eighteen atoms of oxygen there is no change on the reactant side so if we now look at our equation our sulfur is balanced hydrogen balanced nitrogen balanced and oxygen balanced so initially even by using eight steps we were not able to balance the equation but when we balanced when we made our oxygen atoms even the equation becomes really simple to balance so the trick is whenever you see any atom that is say we had seen three oxygen atoms on the reactant side and seven oxygen atoms on the product side so we knew that this is going to create a problem so try to make this even the easiest way was to make this number even so when we made this even we were able to balance the equation so try to make the number of atoms even so whenever in an equation you see a problem any atom is creating a problem since there are odd number of atoms present always try to make the number of atoms even this is our trick 3